We will continue our examination of social exchange theory by examining five underlying propositions identified by Holmans. Now, social exchange theory formulates the idea that human behavior is maximized at, is aimed at maximizing social gains. Humans are, in fact, engaged in the pursuit of social profit. Consider this diagram just a moment, and here we see a male and a female who are actively engaged in making rational decisions in which they weigh the benefits against the cost to determine if, if the balance or the profit of, of that action makes it worth uh, following through with. If benefits outweigh costs, then it's deemed a good decision. And if costs outweigh benefits, then it may be deemed a poor decision. Holman's identified five propositions that guide the process of exchange. These propositions follow. They are first success, then stimulus, value, aggression approval, and finally rationality. The proposition of success or the success proposition is the idea that for all actions taken by humans, the more often a particular action is rewarded, the more likely the action is to be repeated. In other words, if, if an individual has an action and the benefit outweighs the cost, and, and, and again the benefit outweighs the cost, and again the benefit outweighs the cost of that action, then that action is very likely to be repeated. Now, the, the converse of this is, is that if the cost outweighs the benefit, and the cost outweighs the benefit, and the cost outweighs the benefit, when the action is repeated, then the action is less likely to be replicated. The stimulus proposition says if a particular stimulus of the past has been rewarded, those stimuli similar to it are more likely to bring about replication of the behavior. Now, this is similar to the first, but it differs in this. This is not the same stimulus being repeated, but it is a stimulus similar to a stimulus that has been rewarded. Just by getting in the ballpark with the stimuli, then the action can be replicated. Because since the stimuli, the new one is similar to the old, the, the human makes the supposition uh, that uh, the... Uh, same behavior will occur just because the old stimuli is, is similar to the new stimuli. Now, the value proposition uh, teaches us that the more valuable the result of an action is to the individual, the more likely the individual is to repeat the action. In other words, if the reward that comes and the balance is of great value to the individual, then the individual is certainly much more likely to repeat the action. The fourth uh, proposition is that of aggression and approval. Uh, when an action doesn't receive the expected reward, aggression becomes a likely result. To put that in good old East Texas, deep East Texas term, they're going to get mad when they don't get what they expect. Um, a lot of times, you know, we see that in young people, and we see that in old people as well. They expect a certain reward for a behavior based upon what they've encountered in the past, and when that doesn't happen, then they can become aggressive. Now, the opposite of that is true, or the other side of that is true, when an unexpected reward occurs. Something good happens that you didn't expect, then approving behavior is likely to occur. So you're much more likely to approve of that behavior. The individual in the rationality proposition, the individual is seen as being more likely to choose an action perceived to bring about the desired reward. Again, we're back in the social exchange theory concept that humans are thinking beings, that humans are rational beings, that humans are measuring the benefit against the cost to see if social gain is to be achieved from the decision. Humans, again, are viewed as actively seeking individual social gain through rational decision making. In fact, uh, the statement might be asked, what's in it for me? Now, this may seem a little selfish to you. Holmans doesn't name it as selfish or unselfish. He just simply says that in, based on exchange theory, this is the way it occurs. What's in it for me? Humans are also actively seeking to bring about social gain. And they might ask the same question, how will it benefit me? 
The goal is advancement socially in interaction with others to, to, to have more benefit returned than the cost that is put forward. And as humans are actively seeking social gain, certainly they may want to know how it, how it benefits them, a certain action does, and they may want to know what's in it for them. Again, many perceive this as being very selfish, but if you will watch humans and how they conduct themselves, humans do indeed have somewhat of a selfish uh, nature at times in looking out for themselves and what will benefit them the most. Again, I want to thank you very much for your patronage. Uh, you can tell by my age that I'm in the, the older generation that remembered Star Trek back when it was first aired. And in that spirit, I'm going to give you the Vulcan uh, greeting or dismissal, live long and prosper. And I remind you that if you meet any Vulcans, the correct response is peace and long life. You have a blessed day.